everybody and welcome to the vlog. So I started my morning by taking a dance class and then I headed to a new coffee shop nearby that just opened up. I got a coffee, I got a salad and I'm gonna try the food there. It's called Slate Cafe. Everything looks amazing and I have been dying to try their food. So gonna go home, take a shower, eat some lunch. New York City has been on a beautiful weather streak. It was in the mid 60s all week. Today it's in the high 50s, but it's sunny, it's gorgeous. So I think we're just gonna have like a nice, chill, relaxing weekend. So I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna take a shower and welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name's Alexis, I'm 26 and I live in New York City. I'm vlogging today too. I'm home, sitting in the living room with my roommates and Bennett. It's super chopped. Here she is. I am back. I ate my salad, I showered, made myself look a little presentable, and now me and Emily are going to go to the park and we're going to crochet. This has been our dream since January when we started crocheting. Uh, we just kept saying to ourselves, like, think about how nice it'll be when the weather's warm. And we can sit in the park and crochet and just have a nice, fun, girly time. So it's finally nice enough. It's like a little cooler out, a little breezy. So we're just going to sit and work on our blankets that we've been working on. We've taken a bit of a hiatus because I got a crocheting injury. I like was crocheting way too tense. And so this whole arm hurt for weeks and it still kind of feels a little unwell, but I kind of think it's more related to anxiety than uh, actual crocheting. So I crocheted last night, I'm back in it and we're working on our blankets again. We have to pack our yarn. We need four different types of yarn for this next stitch. I am still a little behind Emily though and I need to finish the previous stitch, but hopefully I can get that done pretty fast. Also, I am way slower at crocheting than Emily is, by like a lot. It is literally the perfect weather right now. The sun poking through, everyone just sitting and laughing and playing in the park. We have our little blanket, our sandwiches. It is really good vibes. Okay, I genuinely have no idea if you guys can even see me right now. And the sun's coming out, so now I'm tragically backlit. I brought my little mic so you could hear us because there's a band playing in the park, which is amazing. But you know, there's lots of outside sounds, so I thought might as well bring the mic. Uh, Emily and I are gonna keep crocheting and working on our blankets. round of my brown Emily has started her white it looks beautiful I'm not I'm not quite there I have decided that my drink of the spring is going to be a limonata San Pellegrino this is delicious mine's gonna be Martinelli's apple juice <laughs> crocheting something like this takes a really long time I don't think I I think I did understand like the weight of how much time and energy this would take, but I also think I didn't quite understand how much time and energy this would take. We're really getting there. We're having a good time doing it. That's only, that's the best part. That is the best part. Time with your bestie in the park on a beautiful day. Like the girls in the movie, we watched a movie last night and we were like, wow, this movie is not that good. But then every scene we'd be like, why is that us? Yeah. So that's kind of saying something about our lives. And I don't know if it's quite good or bad. finished my brown outline. I don't know how that took me about three hours to do, but I did it. So here's my blanket so far. 
I think it's looking pretty nice. Um, Emily's does still look way better than mine to me. I mean, it looks really, yours looks really, you have a natural gift. It's so much bigger than mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What the I think heck? I accidentally did an extra row, to be fair. Yours is giant. Mine's like a shriveled up little. But we knew this was going to happen. Honestly, I feel like I'm doing way better than we ever thought I would. And then Emily started the next two, the next two rows of white. So she's ahead of me a bit. But I, I've healed from my crochet injury finally. And I'm really uh, getting, getting in, back into the groove, you know? So I think we're gonna pack up shop because it's almost six o'clock. It's just so nice out, but when the sun goes away, it's kind of freezing. So I think we're gonna maybe go get some dinner, get a little drink, and then just see where the day takes us. It's St. Patrick's Day weekend, which I guess I I confused everybody a little bit last week um, because I already posted a vlog before St. Patrick's Day being like, celebrate St. Patrick's Day with me and my friends. There were parades on Long Island the week before St. Patrick's Day. But this weekend, ironically, most of my friends are out of town. Like I have a friend that has a wedding, a friend that's in Chicago, a friend that's in Connecticut. Like I have friends all over the place. Me and Emily are kind of the two lone wolves in the city that don't have work and don't have somewhere else to be. So we're just gonna bop around town and see where the weekend takes us. I love having this mic because I feel like it's, it's way easier to film. Like I feel way more inclined to like go out and about and film. Yeah, I agree. I like it too. And I have a second one if Emily ever wanted to chat as well. Theoretically. Theoretically. Well, everyone, you want to hear a bit of a sad tale? Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Not the best way to start off, off a holiday, I guess. Emily and I were very, very excited to go to the parade. Um, we'd been planning it for the last week. We had a whole plan. We're gonna walk across the park, watch the parade, go downtown. Last night, we <laughs> were out and about and we went to my friend Al's restaurant visited him at work. We were talking about how we were really excited to go to the parade the next day, and he was like, the parade literally happened today. And we were like, what? Because we were not even thinking. The New York City Half Marathon is today. They definitely couldn't do that in the parade on the same day. So therefore, the parade was yesterday. But I mean, can you blame us for thinking the parade was on actual St. Patrick's Day? So that plan's a little bit out the window. Um, which is fine, you know, it's it's fine. We didn't have to go to the parade. We just thought since we were in the city, we were available, we'd go. Might crochet some more today, just because I feel like we never have this much time on our hands. We're kind of just having like an easy going weekend. Might go get a bagel. I kind of want to sit outside again, but I don't think we can because it's going to be like almost 20 mile per hour winds. It looks beautiful outside, but I think it's going to be way colder and windier than it was yesterday. Uh, then we might go to a bar and do a few little fun St. Patrick's Day things in the afternoon and then call it a day and then call St. Patrick's Day over because I feel like I've been celebrating it for weeks. Here's the updated outfit I'm gonna wear to go grab a bagel. Um, I don't really, even though my entire room is green, I don't really own that much actual green. We settled with a hat and then this sweatshirt has a little bit of green on it and then I have a vest. And me and Emily just walked out looking literally exactly the same. Wait, come here. Cause I just said we looked the same. It was all a mistake. Oh, is your zip? Should I zip mine? Oh, wait. No, mine's not zipped at all. Wait, <laughs> hey, what? Oh, that was weird. We walked out of our perspective rooms. Respective rooms. Oh. <laughs> We're inverse of each other, kind of. Yeah. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. You're just like me. You're just like. Okay, let's roll. Let's bagel. Let's roll. Let's bagel. Let's no, bagel like roll. roll. Like you can get a roll or a bagel. Oh. 
We're never I, on the same page. <laughs> way way hotter outside than I thought. I had to ditch the vest. I'm dripping sweat. Emily's fine but that's honestly the difference between me and her is <laughs> she like never sweats at all. That's not true. You don't really sweat that much. It takes a lot for me to sweat. Yeah I, I literally it's like the dead of winter. The only day this year that I did not sweat through my shirt was when it was like negative five. Like well, that day like the wind chill was crazy. You're so hydrated. I'm so dehydrated. <laughs> I guess this is my way of saying it's a really beautiful day. We're here in the park. Uh, I got my extreme bacon, egg, and cheese, which is just a normal bacon, egg, and cheese with hash browns on it. It's very windy outside, but it's a lot nicer than we anticipated, so we're eating the bagels in the oh park. Oh my god, this is a great cheese pole. You want to get it? You want to get it? Ooh. Whoa! Wait, the inside looks a lot better than the outside. Yeah, the <laughs> outside, like, I was like, that's the green bagel. <laughs> but we're here. We're in Central Park. And... Now it's loud. Good. Yum. Oh. Ate our bagels, sat on the rock. Very Emily and Alexis weekend. Yeah, I'm loving this. Um, now we're headed home and <laughs> probably gonna crochet. Bennett wants to feel included. I have got him his own yarn toy to crochet with us. Give me one sec. Okay, okay, okay. Could you give me one second? <laughs> it's already in his mouth and it's not even out of my oh hand. Oh my god. The un undo it. No, he has to uh, undo it. Like that's it's a pull apart toy. So uh, he'll like pull it apart. So see, like Oh, that's fun for him. Look, Bennett. Look. Here, play with this. Okay, I feel like since we missed the parade and in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day, we gotta go to a bar and just see what's going on. A few of our friends are here and we're gonna go head to a bar and have a little beer for St. Patrick's Day, cause why not? Um, I'm gonna wear this, very casual, very casual vibes. morning everybody as always I feel like I try to just film my weekend but then I like feel like I didn't film enough clips so <laughs> we're vlogging Monday and I'm gonna do a week in my life this week but I'm gonna start on Tuesday we're we're just doing it this way because today's not that crazy like I have nothing really going on but I'm about to go to the gym I'm gonna go to Target unfortunately it is cold again I'm gonna try to have some sort of gym routine this week because I feel like I did not have that for the past few weeks we're gonna vlog today because I also feel like we haven't really had that much alone time together. You know, I've been doing a lot of stuff with Emily this weekend, which is good, but I feel like we need, we need a you and me day, so. I was gonna go straight to Target, but it felt like kind of cold. But I think I'm wearing too oversized of a sweatshirt to wear this vest. So maybe I'll wear the sweatshirt I wore yesterday. Yeah, maybe this works. I'm trying this Fairlight protein shake, and it's actually pretty good. It kind of tastes like a McDonald's milkshake to me, um, like a melted one, but I'm liking it. I got sweet potato chips, 
tortilla chips. Um, yogurt was on sale, so I got four peach yogurts. Hair ties for me and hair ties for Emily. <laughs> this really pretty fake plant. It just felt so spring and I felt like I needed it. Hummus, pre-cooked grilled chicken. This has been like my new favorite thing. I make salads all the time, but I feel like there's not that much protein on it. And this is so easy for me to add because I like hate cooking meat. I absolutely hate it. More chickpeas, a new scrubber for our sink because the one we have is disgusting. Some of these little clear plastic hair ties because I've always wanted some of these. A new razor, shaving cream. And then I went to Sephora and I had $10 off. So I got the Rare Beauty eyebrow gel. I usually use the Anastasia, but I thought I would switch it up and try this. And then I got a liquid eyeliner because I feel like that's pretty new for Rare Beauty. I have the pencil one, but I am way more of like a liquid eyeliner person if I'm gonna wear eyeliner. So got these and that's my haul. I made like a pasta salad type thing. I have spinach and then I cut up the chicken that I bought at Target earlier, put that on top, and then I had some pasta cooked. So I made it like a pasta salad. So I put spinach, pasta, chickpeas, roasted red peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and then the chicken. So looks very good. I just took a shower, changed, and now I'm gonna eat lunch. Working on my crocheting. Mine is a little more shriveled than Emily's, but we're making progress. So I just got my iPad that has the instructions on it so I can count my stitches and everything. Pretty chill day today. I do need to upload my footage for this vlog and start to edit it probably tonight. Really gotta keep doing my arm stretches though because my arms really ache from crocheting and I don't really know why. I kind of just feel like I've never used these muscles in my life. I also got a massage last week and I was told my lats are insanely tight. I wanted to have a playlist to play like while I'm in the park. That's just like good vibes. So I called it vibes for a beautiful day and I made a hole. I, I even like added a nice little cute cover and I have a million good songs. I don't even know like what genre it is. It's just like songs that like you feel good. You're like sitting in the park and you're smiling. And it was kind of anticlimactic in this vlog. I do realize that. Sometimes I feel like when I'm doing like ordinary stuff, I don't feel like filming, which I know I still should, but I didn't really film a lot today. Um, starting a new vlog tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get ready for bed. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.